Hi everyone and welcome to Raymondo Family Adventures. So today we are taking a ramble to Sandringham Country Park and we're going to start near Dursingham Bog and we're going to park in that car park there and we're going to walk along the edge of the bog and then I'll show you the bog and then we're going to walk along to the folly which I'll show you when we get closer to it. And then we're gonna basically follow the path up to um, Jocelyn's Wood. And then we're gonna go to Sandringham itself and that'll be the end of part one. And then part two, I'll show you a bit more of Sandringham and part of the walk back. And then I wanna show you something really interesting in Wolferton. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, there's a little bit of information here I'm going to share with you now if you want to pause it and read it's quite interesting i'm not gonna um, basically read it all out it's just there if you want to read it so there we go guys we'll uh, get on with the walk and i hope you enjoy it so this takes us then dursington bog bass heathland That's quite showing a walk all the way around here. Yeah. So we're gonna do Heath and Ramble. Yeah. Blue one. The Heath and Ramble blue. I think. Or the viewpoint up there. And the red one but I don't want to dive it too much. Any sightings and records of colouring stone charts anywhere on the Norfolk coast would be much appreciated. Very successful and we're keen to learn from the birds dispersed outside breeding season. Which way is the viewpoint then? That way. Mm. So today we are doing a walk around part of the Sandringham estate. And this is the first part of it that we're going to start with. So we're going to walk to this bog and check the viewpoint out. There's a fence, part of the fence. There's part of the bog down there, look. Oh, beautiful view from up here. So look, we are walking down there. Pleasant. There is course pheasants, wild chickens. So this is part of the bog. And we're going to walk around part of it here, as you'll see. So we'll try and explore and uh, anything notable we'll take photographs off while we're out on the walk. Kids have found a tree. Well, Jasmine's found a tree. Bench. What does it say? Dedicated in celebration of the life of John Denver. Yeah. 1943. Yeah. To what? 1997. Musician and. Yeah. En and environment. I can't say. That. Environmentalist. Donated by friends of the John Denver UK. It's <laughs> nice views from up here. Right. Let's continue our walk. Our woodland walk. I'll right, go in this way. Um, <laughs> cows. Don't scare the cows. 
Are you called them a beef burger and run off? Chatty bird, chatty bird, look. Yeah. I assume it's a chatty bird. No. Just doing it so you can zoom, maybe. If We have the back end of a cow. Very fluffy, aren't they? Oh. Like a baby. What are you looking at? Back time. We'll see what the sign says down there. Yeah? If you want to. There's lots more people coming, so. We'll go that way then. We're going this way. You go that way and we'll go this way. Don't fall in though, it is boggy. Yeah. It's because it's not boggy. Look, oh, yeah, it's definitely boggy. <coughs> Look, it's definitely boggy. The cows don't seem good. It is boggy. It's definitely boggy. Couple. They don't say walkers, I reckon. Oh, it's really buggy around here, though. That's a good picture, that. Shall? That's a good picture, that. With your camera. Isn't it bog? Look Life in the balance. Yeah. 
patchwork of mosses that carpet the ground, you are it. You are in the lifeblood of the bog. Holding water like a big sponge, responsible for creating the peat that sustains especially adapted plants that live there. Without active management, the bog would quickly become overgrown and the unusual plants and animals that support it could not survive. So it was all Lewis and Jasmine. This is a natural bog. Lewis and Jasmine. There's no one around, is there? So this is all like these flowers, shell and plants are all specific to the bog, I think. Well, they're not, obviously. What are they? I don't know what they are. Come on, then. It says on the thing, like the unique. Yeah. Uniqueness of it. That got an oily shine to it. It's strange, isn't it? I didn't really see it mentioned on the on the board though. What do you see that's noticeable on this gate? What do we see that's noticeable on the gate? What, what above it do you see? No, what do you above? What do you see below the flames? And what do you what do you see? What do you actually see? Crown. That's right, Lewis. It's a crown. They are, look. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, the second. Pedestrians and cyclists, welcome. That's Sandringham. That's private, look, and it's part of the Sandringham state. No drones. Yeah, you can't fly drones in Sandringham. Which is not surprising. But that's part of the state, look, Lewis. That house is part of the estate. stickers in there for any lucky people that find it. And we've also put a geotag in here as well. So now walking through a quite heavily wooded area called Princess's Drive. Or well, the road is called Princess's Drive. And there's lots and lots of wood pigeons. Is 
So we're going to end it here today everyone. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back again very soon with part 2. We will continue the walk up to Sandringham uh, and then returning back to where we parked the car. So please remember to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it and want to see more. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you.